a tall ship is a large, traditionally rigged sailing vessel. Popular modern tall ship rigs include topsail schooners, brigantines, brigs and barks. Tall ship can also be defined more specifically by an organization, such as for a race or festival. History Traditional rigging may include square rigs and gaff rigs, usually with separate topmasts and topsails. It is generally more complex than modern rigging, which utilizes newer materials such as aluminum and steel to construct taller, lightweight masts with fewer, more versatile sails. Most smaller, modern vessels use the Bermuda rig. Though it did not become popular elsewhere until the 20th century, this rig was developed in Bermuda in the 17th century, and had historically been used on its small ships, the Bermuda sloops. Author and master mariner Joseph Conrad used the term tall ship in his works. For example, in The Mirror of the Sea in 1903. If Conrad used the term, it is fairly certain tall ship was common parlance among his fellow mariners in the last quarter of the 19th century. Henry David Thoreau also references the term tall ship in his first work, A Week on the Concord and Merrimack Rivers, quoting down out at its mouth the dark inky main blending with the blue above. Plum Island, its sand ridges scalloping along the horizon like the sea serpent, and the distant outline broken by many a tall ship, leaning, still, against the sky. He does not cite this quotation, but the work was written in 1849. While Sail Training International has extended the definition of tall ship for the purpose of its races to embrace any sailing vessel with more than 30 feet waterline length and on which at least half the people on board are aged 15 to 25, this definition can include many modern sailing yachts, so for the purposes of this article, tall ship will mainly refer to those vessels rated as Class A. Sail Training International, in the 21st century, Tall ship is often used generically for large, classic, sailing vessels, but is also a technically defined term by Sail Training International for its purposes and of course, STI helped popularize the term. The exact definitions have changed somewhat over time, and are subject to various technicalities, but by 2011 there were four classes. Basically there are only two sized classes, A is over 40 MLOA, and BD a 9.14 M to under 40 MLOA. The definitions have to do with rigging, Class A is for square sail rigged ships, Class B is for traditionally rigged ships, Class C is for modern rigged vessels with no spinnaker like sails, and Class D is the same as Class C but carrying a spinnaker like sail. The STI definitions can be found here and a ship database here. Equals Class A equals all square rigged vessels and all other vessel more than 40 meters length overall, regardless of rig. STI classifies its A class as all square rigged vessels and all other vessels over 40 meters length overall, in this case STI LOA excludes bowsprit and aft spar. STI defines LOA as length overall measured from the foreside of stem post to aft side of stern post, counter or transom. Equals class B equals Traditionally rigged vessels with an LOA of less than 40 meters and with a waterline length of at least 9.14 meters. Equals class C equals, modern rigged vessels with an LOA of less than 40 meters and with a waterline length of at least 9.14 meters not carrying spinnaker like sails. Equals class D equals, modern rigged vessels with an LOA of less than 40 meters and with a waterline length of at least 9.14 meters carrying spinnaker like sails. There are also a variety of other rules and regulations for the crew, such as ages, and also for a rating rule. There are other sail festivals and races with their own standards, the STI is just one set of standards for their purposes. Earlier description of classes, an older definition of Class A by the STI was all square rigged vessels over 120 feet length overall. Fore and aft rigged vessels of 160 feet and over. By LOA they meant length excluding bowsprit and aft spar. Class B was all fore and aft rigged vessels between 100 to 160 feet in length, and all square rigged vessels under 120 feet. See also a list of Class A ships with lengths including bowsprit. Lost tall ships, tall ships are sometimes lost, such as by a storm at sea. Some examples of this include, 
bountiful rig ship lost off the North Carolina coast as Hurricane Sandy approached in 2012. Concordia was a triple mast Barquentine built in 1992, operated by Canada as a school ship. Lost at sea in 2010 in a squall. Asga II, an Irish national sail training ship, commissioned in 1982, was lost in 2008 off the French coast. The two masted brigantine is thought to have collided with a submerged object. Fantoma, former yacht built in 1927, then operating as a cruise ship, was lost in Hurricane Mitch in 1998. Marks, built in 1917, it was lost in a 1984 tall ships race. Endeavour 2, built in 1968, wrecked in a 1971 gale off New Zealand, Astrid ran aground in 2013 off Ireland, and then broken up in 2014 after being salvaged. Zebu sunk at its dock in Liverpool in 2015. It was built in 1938, and had been sitting at the dock since 1988, after it completed a circumnavigation and world in the 1980s. Gallery See also, American Sail Training Association, Cutty Sark Tall Ships Race, Jubilee Sailing Trust, List of Large Sailing Vessels, List of Tall Ships, Operation Sail, Sail Training, Tall Ships Challenge, Tall Ship Chronicles, Tall Ships Youth Trust, The Tall Ships Races, Windjammer. References Further reading, American Sail Training Association Sail Tall Ships Thad Cosa. Tall Ships, A Fleet for the 21st Century. External links, American Sail Training Association, Another World Adventures, List of events where tall ships can be visited for free, tall ships events.